Thanks a lot for tuning back in. This is the third video in the series, and in this video, I'm gonna go over how to score the hammer. So don't go anywhere. So upon the hammer test completion, you find the corresponding lap sheet for the airman's gender and age. You look for their number of completed shuttles on the lap sheet in bold on the top right corner of the boxes. So the number on to the left is the 1.5 mile time the airmen would have ran for their current fitness level. So I'll put the lap sheets in the description below. So auditory file for the hammer sounds off with a beep and announces the level and the shuttle. There are two beeps for a level change where the iterations get closer together from the previous level. So level one one starts at the top left of the lap sheet and works its way to the right ending at level one seven. At level 2-1, the auditory cues would become a little faster and continue from level 2-1 and go to 2-8. At level 3-1, the auditory cues will get a little faster than that and the level will continue in the same fashion. So now let's go over how to read the lap sheets. Each of the boxes have two or three numbers. The red numbers have two because those shuttles have no point value and fall below the minimum standards. The yellow and green boxes have three numbers because those are the minimal and acceptable standards. The top right bold number is the amount of shuttles completed. We will look for this number to identify the airmen's completed shuttles for their score sheet. The left number is the runtime the airmen would have got if they ran the 1.5 miles. We would put that time in the Athens and calculate it for their cardiovascular component. Under the bold number with the decimal point is the value of that shuttle and the correlated runtime. The airman can use that runtime to calculate their overall score by using the Athens calculator. As an example, let's say this airman was male 25 years old. The corresponding lap sheet would be male under 30. He completed up to level nine shuttle seven for a total of 77 completed shuttles. His estimated 1.5 mile runtime would be 1051 and that would be put in the Athens. The point value for his hammer would be 56.6. For this scenario, we have a male 35 years old. His corresponding score sheet would be male 30 to 39. Let's say he hasn't been doing too much physical training and he barely made it to level six shuttle six, with a total of 47 completed shuttles. He didn't get any points and was part of that Corona 15. So since the hammer is in this two year introductory period, this airman would be given a weather waiver by the general's memo since he didn't meet the most minimum uh, requirements. When you have identified the airman's level and the shuttle to their gender, age, lap sheet, you'll write this corresponding 1.5 mile time run at the bottom area marked in with the red block. Then did not make the minimum amount of shuttles, then write weather to signify the airman did not make the minimum amount of shuttles and is afforded a weather waiver. So this is how the two score sheets um, work together. So the grid on the left is the lap sheet for the males under 30. The table on the right is out of AFI 362905 for males under 30. So the numbers in red on the lap sheet correspond to the high risk health category. The numbers in the yellow correspond to the moderate risk and the green corresponds to the low risk. If there's anything I didn't cover in this video that you have a question about, then put them in the comments below so I can answer it and put it in the last video for everybody's benefit. Hey, thank you so much for watching. On the next video, I'll be going over basic running mechanics and how to perform the hammer. See you next time.